Ah, now it's time for zero G therapy. Okay, yeah. So zero G, obviously, as you might expect. Okay, yeah. So this re actually requires security clearance level two as well. We've been seeing a bunch of those doors um, all along the way here, and uh, hmm, that's going to be a bit of an issue. But also zero G, you know what that means? Yeah, a vacuum. Right. Yeah, I don't have that much time either. I'm going to have to run through here pretty quickly. But the problem with that is that there are going to be enemies. Are there? No? No, it doesn't seem like it. But you can barely hear anything, can't you? You can just hear me and that's it. Because obviously we're in a vacuum. There we go. Okay. Thankfully we're hearing some other things now apart from myself. Okay, so um, yeah, now this is a bit of an issue. Because the main problem that I'm gonna have, can I actually uh, can I actually fire while we're using our thrusters? Okay. This is actually um, might be considered a little bit overpowered, to be honest. Because if I have the ability to do this, um, yeah. So reorient is like this. Oh no, no, no! Don't do that! Don't do that! No, that's not good. That's not good. Don't do that. Okay, that is absolutely terrible. That almost made me feel sick right there. Okay, let's be a little bit careful. Yeah. So at least we know we know how to reorient. Um, <laughs> yeah, I remember in the original game they basically just had you like jumping to other um, other surfaces and things like that. And obviously this is very much borrowing from the other games. I'm kind of wondering if there's actually going to be anything useful here. And I'm thinking about whether there's going to be... Uh, wait a minute. What is this? Is this where I need to go? It is. Oh. Um, did I actually mean to come this way? I have no idea. Well, let's do it. Okay, yeah, so we're not going to use that anymore. Oh, there's the hydrazine container. Okay, I'm going to assume that I will be attacked. Let's see, are there any vents here? <laughs> That's usually where they say hello, you know. Got to be a little bit careful of that. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me just get this. Get that. Give me, give me nodes, guys. Come on. I want some more nodes, please. They're obviously not going to give me that, that many of them. Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? No sign of her yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay. Work fast, Isaac. Right. We did it. Okay. So that all, all that remains now is to go back through here. But I'm going to assume... Yep, we're going to be attacked by one of these, my favorite. Whoa, yeah. I loathe these. What can I say? I do not like them. I do not like them. That is absolutely terrible. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I should probably... You know what I should probably do? I should probably use my pulse rifle a little bit, shouldn't I? That would make more sense. Okay, I was kind of looking for... Uh, ah, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to use my pulse rifle a little bit more. As you can see, this is a lot more efficient with its ammo usage as well. Because, of course, if you're shooting one or two bullets of this, it's a lot m a lot more effective to do that, to destroy containers and so on and so forth in zero-G with that than it is to use a plasma cutter bullet. Because that, that's, you know, pretty, you know, it's not limited in quantity, but it's definitely a lot more efficient to do it this way. Okay, so, yeah, I just need to go this way now. Okay, fantastic. So there was just one of those guys. I really don't like those at all. I think that's probably my my uh, least favorite, or should we say... I, I actually quite like the regular Necromorphs, to be honest. Um, because I think they're a really cool design. It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. But the... 
<laughs> the ones that are kind of like uh, with tails and stuff like that, I do not like them. I think they are very annoying to fight. And wait a minute, where do I go? Are you... Are you, are you oh, I have to take off? Are you serious? Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad news bears. I'm not a big fan of this, that's for sure. Okay, I'm terrible at flying through these things. No offense. I am really, really bad at flying. Okay. No, we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, oxygen recharge. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that actually helps. And, um... Yeah, the main problem with being in a vacuum, by the way, I don't know whether you've realized that yet, because obviously I did already mention it, but it is completely quiet, which you know what that means. That means that enemies can basically sneak up on you at any time, and they will make you pay. Oh, yes, they will make you pay dearly if you, uh, you know, if you don't, uh, don't see them in time. Anyway, we can go back through here. And I think we're fine. Oh, do I not have... I don't even have security clearance level one. Oh. Okay. Uh, certainly didn't mean to go, um, you know, so ham on the guy, but... You know. He, uh, he kind of came out of nowhere and I was, I was just like, yep. I'm just going to go for it, you know, just going to go for it. But yeah, we don't actually have security clearance a level one either, which is actually a pretty big deal. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so we've got zero G here as well. So that means that I can basically just go like so. God, took one step out of the captain's nets and Chen, that thing, he almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Exiting zero gravity. Ooh, we got schematics for pulse rounds. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. I gotta be a bit careful here though. Um, but yeah, zero G no longer um, no longer here, so that's pretty good. Let's get the schematics. Can bring that to the store, and then we can actually purchase pulse rounds if we want to, which may indeed be something that I will be sinking some credits in at least. I, I don't really want to, to be honest, because I think that's kind of counterintuitive because you obviously want to get something that okay never mind okay yeah so anyway um, you obviously want to get something that's actually going to help you in the long run rather than something that is temporary was a bit much, wasn't it? Okay, heal, thank you. Oh, now the lights come on. Oh, no, no, actually they didn't, never mind. Okay, so <laughs> I desperately need to upgrade the pulse pulse rifle, in my opinion. I think that the damage from this is going to be incredible as we go, but unfortunately I don't have the ability to do that just yet. Uh, we need to actually go through here. Oh, I just literally used another health potion because I was like, yeah, but let me press F to get through here. Yeah, that's not really good, is it? Okay, let me just see here. Okay, so we can go this way. Ah, oh, yeah, we came out of this door. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we basically doubled back. And now we're back here. Perfect. All right, so there's the store and everything. So that means that we now have the ability to uh, have a wonderful, wonderful time because we've got the schematic, of course, that's going to get uploaded. And we also have a, well, we do have one node and we know where to go to actually upgrade that. So that's pretty good. Otherwise, stasis, obviously it's not going to make any difference for me right now to actually sell any of these stasis packs. So I'm not going to do that. But I do not have a lot of ammunition in terms of plasma energy. So I have to be very careful with that. Well, now that we've gone to the store, it's probably a good idea for us to head on to the research wing and get the shock pad. Because obviously we need to get the shock pad to be able to, well, blow up the barricade and actually get past. So yeah, I am actually going the right way. Let's be a little bit careful. We've obviously got those 
really annoying guys coming after me now, which is an... Uh, it's an aggravation. That's what it is. Whoa, I almost just killed myself right there. Okay, they're now attempting to teach me about Kinesis. Ah, yes, because obviously impaling things. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Not too bad. There's one left. Oh, I have no ammo. Oh dear. I have no ammo with this weapon. Okay, that's really bad. Okay, that's actually really, really terrible. And I am going to have to maybe spend some credits to buy some ammunition. I never thought I'd have to do that, but obviously we're playing on hard, so maybe that makes a difference. Because obviously the enemies are much, much more difficult to kill. Is there another one? There must be another enemy. Otherwise, the quarantine would lift. There's a bunch. Okay, here we go, here we go. Stasis. Okay, we did it. Actually, not even that badly, to be honest. I felt like um, <laughs> I felt like this was going to be much more difficult than it actually turned out to be. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, there we go. Pulse rifle to the rescue. I guess that's what we can really, you know, thank for our success here. And obviously, we do have stasis recharge as well. Probably should have used stasis much more, but. We run out really fast. That's the that's the thing, you know? We run out really, really quickly, so... Gotta be a bit careful. Okay, there we go. I just used the health kit as well, because we did take some damage. Surgical log. Dr. Charles Mercer. Copy to my security. I convinced Jürgen to show me the video feed from the colony. It's... Remarkable. Finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners, this transformation, the divide death self. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange, when my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without Kain, I must study one of these creatures, or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. Ooh, okay, I see how it is. All right, so wait a second. This guy, this thing wants a tissue sample. I'm actually not entirely sure if that is a, uh, that's a thing that I gotta like, I don't know. Nope. Okay, that, that, 
<laughs> no, I was thinking to myself, do I have to actually use Kinesis to, you know, do something there? Ah, wait a minute. This is Nicole's, um, Nicole's laboratory. Nicole? It's me. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero-G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Marcia continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Tracking rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Ah, there's a side mission. Okay, investigate the emergency room. And if I go to the mission screen here, I might be able to actually track that. So let me actually just take a quick look because this is, I think, different than what we, uh, well, maybe what the original had. I can't reach the morgue until I find a way through the barricade. Right. Okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. So that, uh, it's actually really, really nice that they tell me that because otherwise I would have wasted a huge amount of time actually attempting to find a, uh, you know, possible way through. All right. So I think I have actually looked at pretty much everything that's in here. I am so... Mm, I'm one of those people, you know. I'm one of those people that literally doesn't want to miss anything because especially considering I'm playing on this difficulty I'm just very you know, I'm very paranoid about missing like a node or ah yes I, ha I haven't gone in here before okay there's the text log I'm not actually going to be reading the text logs I think that's a little bit uh, it's going to take a little bit too much time and I would like to you know progress with the adventure that we have going on here but what we what, ah let's do this Ben, what in God's name is happening down there? Precisely that. God's work. How can you say that? These deaths at the colony. The paranoia, the hallucinations. You wanted a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? The marker is defined. I know this. Look, it'll be on board tomorrow. You can study it then. Put your mind at ease. At ease? People are dying. How can that be the transformation the teachings promise? We're witnessing a new beginning. Terrence, for unitology, for humanity. Of course our faith is being tested. Everything is about to change. And recording. Seal entry. Oh yeah, we got some fanatics going on here, that's for sure. All right, yeah, so at least, wow, that's actually pretty cool that they've, um, they've added these kind of sort of like holographic records that you can see. I actually really like that. It is a lot more immersive. All right, so there's a tissue sample. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with the tissue sample. Is this where I need to go? Yep, yes it is. Highly doubt I'm going to have anything else that I need to do. Ah, there's a bench. Okay, that's going to be really nice. We also have schematics for a stasis pack, so I can create stasis packs in the future. And give me that. Oh, what what is going on here? Why, why is it difficult for me to pick that up? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, there we go. Huge amounts of pulse rounds. But as you've no doubt seen, it takes me a long time to actually kill any opponent even with the pulse rifle right now okay i'm just gonna see what we can get okay that increases its capacity and that increases its damage i'm actually wondering can i reset my points here or should i go for more damage with the plasma cutter i think i'll go for some more damage with it that gives me 120 damage i will be upgrading the pulse rifle as well i personally think the pulse rifle is fantastic at the moment I don't have enough nodes. I have four nodes plus the, obviously the one that I used in my suit. So I shouldn't really, mm, I don't know. I mean, I could reset them for credits. I'm not entirely sure how many credits it's gonna take. 
but I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, hello there, sir. Well, he's, yeah, he's he's definitely dead. I mean, there's nothing much I can do about that. As you can see, the doors are closed. This requires security level three. How do I get that? Oh, I really want to get the security clearance, to be honest. Yeah, let me just um, do something about this. Okay, I'm just going to get ready with my plasma cutter. Hello there. Oh, of course it hits. Yeah. Thankfully, these things are really not very damaging. Oh. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got something to say here. Let me give you a hand, sir. Ah, uh, no, no. I'll let myself out, okay? I'll let myself out. That was terrible. Anyway, let's actually just go up on the lift. Yeah, that seems to be where we need to go. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I almost missed something. Small med pack. Text log. Obviously, I'm not really going to be looking at any of that, but it is very interesting, by the way. Highly recommend if you play this yourself. Do look through the text logs. They are going to be adding a lot of flavor. I'm not going to shoot until these things come out. Kind of wish we would get more plasma energy. I, I wonder if there's a way for us to actually get more ammunition. I mean, obviously, we're getting ammunition pretty much all the time, but enemies are just difficult. You know, they, they take a lot of damage. So it is going to take a lot more ammo to kill them. So that's obviously a problem. I am really looking for more nodes. Oh, I'm so hungry for nodes right now. I really am. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, emergency shower. Oh, thank you. Give me that. Yeah, emergency shower right there. I'm definitely going to need one after this is over. Or should we say Isaac is going to need one. What do we got going on here? Well, this guy's having a electric time, isn't he? Yes. All right. Well, what do we have here? Oh, usually nodes. Yeah, usually nodes are in those little containers. So I'm really, really pleased that we got one of those. There's a circuit breaker here as well. Okay, so let me actually just have a look. What is this for? Shock pads, doors. So if I do that, then I can pick up the shock pad. Daniels isn't answering her rig link. What's your status? I found a shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. Um, no offense, but I just already picked it up, Hammond. Are you serious? <laughs> I am an engineer, or Isaac is an engineer anyway, so he, he definitely knows what's up, you know. He knows how to handle these things, even if I don't. Okay, so I need to go this way. I think I've already looted basically everything, so I think we can very easily just make our way back. And I do do a lot more damage with the plasma cutter now. Oh, I'm I'm terrible. I am so terrible with with stasis. I'm not entirely sure what's even going on with stasis right now, but I am just awful with aiming it. Okay, I certainly wasn't expecting these guys to come out of there. Um, I think, <laughs> you know what I think is actually really funny? These guys literally came out because I interacted with the stasis refill. I'm pretty sure they did. I don't know whether they would have anyway. They probably would have, but I think they uh, they definitely wanted to catch us out there with an ambush of some kind. And, and obviously, it's all to do with resource management, you know? These kinds of games always... It's always resource management that is going to make the uh, the overall difference whether you're actually going to succeed or not. It really does. Anyway, there we go. There's the schematics. We have a node available. Can I sell something? I can sell a stasis pack. Do I have anything that I actually want to buy here? Uh, as you can see, ammo is quite expensive. It's, it's six bullets are 1,200. That's a lot, in my opinion. Now, technically, what I could do is I could sell these stasis packs. 
and I could actually almost purchase a node. And I'm thinking, you know what? Let's do it. I'm going to be very audacious here, and I'm going to do that. We're going to... Oh, I don't know whether this is a good idea. I really don't. This is not really a good idea, but I'm going to do it nevertheless, because I'm, I'm greedy, all right? I'm greedy for this node, so we're going to buy one. There we go. Ooh, this is harsh. I think I might be making a huge error here, but... I really, uh, I really do want to get that. Okay, so I think... Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. Um. Why was he, why was he just chilling? Why was he just chilling in this hallway? That is actually, actually kind of weird. Alright, yeah, I actually want to get to the, um, the upgrade bench. Is there actually an upgrade bench somewhere here? Oh, I could... I, I think I'm getting mixed up, to be honest. Oh, well, never mind. You know what? Oh. Oh. Alright. Well, you're dead, sir. Thank you. What's actually going on here with these things? Are they actually respawning in these areas? Okay, I had no idea that that was even possible, but... Okay, well, we're just gonna make our way back here and, and hope that there's a, an upgrade bench, um... You know, after. <laughs> Hopefully there is. And we're going to have a nice little big boom here. And I'm just going to hope that I don't take any damage and don't need any stasis. And uh, hope that I don't run out of ammunition either. Okay, take cover to detonate. Uh, over here? Can I shoot it? Nope. Okay. Where do I take cover? Here? Ah, okay. Uh, no offense, but I feel like that's way too close to the explosion anyway, but oh well. I think so, at least. Okay, so there we go. We've completed that. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna... Uh Find Captain Matthias's body. Get his rig codes, and the computer's all ours. Ooh, weapon upgrade. Plasma cutter upgrade. Bring upgrade parts to the bench to improve weapons and gear. And we need level one clearance. See, now that's exactly what I'm talking about. How do we get that? I guess we uh, we just haven't gotten it yet. I'm gonna just make sure that this guy is um, not going to say hello later on. Just in case. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't have much ammo for my plasma cutter. That's actually very sad. Transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, he's seizing. Shit. Maybe I have some PHP left. Ah, we have to follow her hologram. Where did she go? Did she go over here? Because I, I thought she came she came in this direction, but I, I I don't know. Wait a minute, let me actually have a look here. Shower light. No, please. Oh, no. I do not want to do that. To remove the battery, ensure no power is being used on the circuit breaker. Okay, I am going to have to turn off the lights. I am not a big fan of that, because obviously, as you know, uh, the last time we did that, we, we got attacked massively, so... Uh, okay, I'm just going to loot some stuff first. I, I've already seen the battery slot that we're obviously going to be using in a second. Oh wow, they're giving me a lot of pulse rounds. I really want an upgrade bench. I can't remember where the last one was that we used, so that's a big problem as well. But there's the battery slot over there. 
And yeah, okay. I think there's nothing else in here. So, I mean, obviously we've got these things right here. So basically I can just move these because I need, you know, I need to get through to the morgue once we have security clearance level one. So that's obviously going to be a thing. But apart from that, there doesn't seem to be anything available. So yeah, I'm going to have to turn off the lights. Okay, let's do it. Oh. Okay, I, I don't see anyone right now. Okay. Um... I'm actually kind of wondering why that why is the battery not available right now? Do I need to uh, turn off the showers too? Yep. I see. Good to know. Ah, there we go. We're getting attacked now. Ah, okay. That was not good. Um, it just goes to show. I really do need to get um, some upgrades for the pulse rifle. And just generally need to know what's going on here. I should really actually... I have... Ah, uh, yeah, I do have some more medkits. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. I think I'm actually out of medkits now. So... That is a big issue. I don't actually remember where any of these enemies are now, so... I don't know where I need to stomp, which is a bit of a problem. Let me actually just see. Uh, there's one here. There's actually something on the floor here. Got some credits. Okay, just a hundred. Okay, that's fine. Alright, well... I don't know, maybe I should just go for it whenever there's something like that happening and I should just, I don't know, just use my ammo super, super hard and not, you know, just damn the consequences, I guess, you know, because from my perspective, I feel like that might be the only way to really do it. Okay, I think I've... I think I've looted everything. I might be missing something, but if I ha if I am, then then I am, you know. Not much I can do about that. I can't get in there yet. Obviously, security level one. All right, let's go then. <laughs> I knew that was going to be messy. Maybe I just... I, I, I probably messed myself up just by literally being, uh, you know, dreading it a little bit because I thought to myself, yeah, I'm probably going to get absolutely massacred in that. And yeah, I actually did. I took m way more damage than I would have to otherwise. I've still got a lot of ammunition for my pulse rifle, so I am fine in that regard. So I, sh I think I should just literally shoot.
100 credits. Really? 100 credits isn't going to get me anything, thanks very much. All right, we've got some more pulse rounds there. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, look, we just, we, I mean, we had to shoot a lot. And now we're, we are running out of ammunition, but uh, it's fine. Is it? <laughs> Is it actually fine, though? That's the question. Is it actually fine? Not really. Okay, there we go. This is the right way. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'll medium med pack. That's absolutely perfect. Kind of wondering if there's anything else around here. I need to, I need to scavenge. That's the whole point. We really do need to scavenge. Oh. So I have no more stasis, and there's an O2 meter here. Right. Yeah. He says, you know, having sold all of his uh, all of his stasis packs. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, we got another node. I really need an upgrade bench. I super do. Mercer, it's Terrence Kine. You were in surgery, so I left this with Warwick. He'll be discreet. I just got the latest report from Aegis 7. The situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you all locked me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. Well, uh, wait, it's, oh, I can't go in there. <laughs> I was like, wait, 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 I should probably go back. Oh, stasis recharge. Yeah. Give me that. Thank you very much. Okay. Whew. There are some really, um, well, I mean, to be fair, I mean, if you were in the situation, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, some people would, well, they're not going to have a good time. Let's just say that. A hundred credits. Scan rig to unlock workstation. Okay. Well, uh, can I do that right here? Nope here nope nope none of that gonna have to get the captain's rig first i assume possibly 